everybody, it's Jackie. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing another series review for you guys. And this series, let me tell you, it was one of my favorite reads of last year. And that series is the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Maas. This is a pretty well-known book series here on BookTube. A lot of people have read it and really loved it. And I am definitely one of those people. Uh, this is a very well-hyped up book here in the community, like I said. And it is definitely worth the hype. I just fell in love with this series from the minute I started reading it. I'm not even joking. So this series, if you guys do not know what it's about, it follows the main character, Selena Sardathian, and she is an assassin. And at the beginning of the first book, which is called Throne of Glass, she is in prison for reasons we find out later on in uh, the novellas that were released called The Assassin's Blade. And the way she can get out of prison and become a free person in the society is if she enters this competition to become the king's main assassin and she is put up against lots of lots of, lots of other assassins and the great thing about this series and why i really really enjoyed it uh, overall is because the action into the plot which i'll get into a little bit more in a second um just kept me on the edge of my seat it was just oh my gosh it packed a punch right into your face and the characters were fantastic, the romance was fantastic, the magic was fantastic. I just can't even put it into words. So, as far as the characters, Slam Sardathian, our main character, oh my gosh. I want her to be like my best friend. I just, I fell in love with her like throughout the first book. And she does become a little bit kind of not my favorite character towards the end, like the fourth and the fifth book. She listened down as my favorite, one of my favorite characters in, in the series. But I did still enjoy her. I think she was a kick-ass main character. I want to know more about her life personally before the events of this uh, series started. And even though we did get a good idea of what it was about in The Assassin's Blade, which is the novellas, um, I just want to know more. And that's one thing I just want to know more about in the next book that's coming out in the series, um, which is the sixth book. I think it's the final book. I'm not sure. Um, but I want to know more about her, and <laughs> she is so cool. Another thing I really liked about this series is Sarah J. Mass has this writing style where she can create not just fantastic main characters, but also really fantastic side characters. I loved pretty much every single other character besides Elena. Uh, I really loved, you know, we have Dorian, we have Rowan, Kale, Manon, just to name a few characters. I just love them all. <laughs> I, I, I just can't believe the characters that she wrote in this book are just absolutely fantastic. And that's, I can't even put into words <laughs> how great of characters they are. As far as the romance aspects of this series, I have my own personal thoughts. I know a lot of people have differing opinions on who Selena should be ending up with as a, you know, there's a lot of love interests. There's three different love interests we get to meet throughout the uh, series, all five books. And personally for me, this is kind of an unpopular opinion because a lot of people, like I said, have varying opinions on who she should end up with. And I am definitely a hardcore Solorian fan. I just love her and Dorian together. I just, I will ship them till the end of time. I know a lot of people don't like that ship. Uh, they either ship her with Kale or Kaleena, I think the ship name is. And then, or they ship the, her with Ro, Rowan uh, or Rowling, I think their ship name is. Personally, I love, don't get me wrong, I love Kale and I love Rowan as other characters. They're just not, I don't think they belong with Selena. Even though uh, her and Rowan do end up together uh, and they get married in the fifth book, Empire of Storms, I just, I, I, I can't deal with it. I loved uh, all the friendships she had with them throughout the entire series as well. I think even after her and Dorian broke up in the first book that their friendship really just um, built throughout the rest of the series. I think Dorian still did have feelings for Selena um, into the rest of the books and you can kind of see it um, the way the plot plays out with them. It, all the scenes they have together you can see in something about um, not Rowan, Dorian, it tells me he might still have feelings for Selena, and that's still what kind of why I ship them. As far as Kale, I like I said, I really liked him as a, a side character, not really a side character, but not the main focus of the story. I just I liked their relationship with his relationship with Selena for a while, and then 
towards the end of Crown of Midnight and into Air Fire, I just, there's something about their relationship I didn't like. I can't put my, my tongue on it. It's just something, like, turned me off from, I just couldn't deal with it anymore. And then we got to Rowan, who I absolutely love as, a, again, the side character. I think he's probably my favorite side character throughout the entire series. Uh, I just, I just didn't like it. I like them, their friendship, like I said, um, but I just don't think he was the right person for Selena. Like I said, I don't think she belongs with Dorian. That's just my personal opinion. Uh, I know a lot of people are going to say, oh, she belongs with Rowan, she belongs to Kale, whatever. Uh, I don't really care. <laughs> I just, I will ship with her with Dorian through the entire rest of the series. As far as the plot, I really enjoyed the plot of this story. Like I said, Sarah J. Mass has this writing style that just blew me away. This kept me on the edge of my seat the entire time I was reading this. And keep in mind, I read all five books like back to back to back to back. I think it took me two months to finish the entire series. I finished the first three books, I think, in October, and then I read the last two in November. But overall, it's it will leave you on the edge of your seat, like I said, until like the end of the book and there is some cliffhangers especially Empire Storms get me, don't get me wrong on that the end of Empire Storms will leave you on kind of a cliffhanger even the novellas blew me away when I read the novellas um and I just I just loved it and everything about this series is just definitely worth the hype I can't even put like I said I can't even put it into words what it is about this series I love so 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 much and that is my entire thoughts on this series, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you have not already. As far as my ratings for these books, before I forget to mention them, I gave uh, Throne of Glass a 5 out of 5 stars. Crown of Midnight, I believe I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. Air Fire, I gave a 4 out of 5 stars. Queen of Shadows, I gave a 5 out of 5 stars. And then Empire of Storms, I gave a 4.5 out of 5 stars. So those are my ratings for this entire series, but... Like I said, leave a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on the series. If you have not already, check it out because you will not regret it. I'll be sure to have all my social media links linked down below. If you guys would like to follow me on Instagram, Goodreads, or Twitter, my username is at EvilQueenBooks. I would love to have you as a friend on all those, and I will see you guys on Monday for another video. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you then. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye!